Good morning, my beautiful family. It is the 1st of June. We made it. Oh, oh I don't know if I'm happy because the school year is almost over, but whatever. It's June 1st, and the Lord says that this is the month of joy. This is the month of joy, family. I'm so excited to share the June with you, word with you tomorrow. So make sure you tune in for the June word. You think the May word was explosive. Oh, no. Ain't nothing. Got June is that month. So make sure you're tuned in. We have so many exciting things going on here at Prophetic Diary. Our fitness challenge started today. We're getting fit. Don't worry. Details are coming out by noon today. So make sure that you're subscribed to keywitnesses.com so you can get that email so that you know everything that is in is going to go on in that uh, fitness challenge. So join us. Join us there. We're going to keep on winning. Keep on getting fit. And we're going to look good for this summer. Okay, family. Um, so yeah, keywitnesses.com for everything that you need. How to sign up for a one-on-one encouragement call. So many things going on. I'm happy that you guys are joining us in the winter circle um, this Saturday. But let's get into the word. We're going to be in Acts 9, verse 8 today. And it reads, Saul got up. Saul got up from the ground. But when he opened his eyes, he could not see nothing. So they led him by the hand into Damascus. For that, for three days, he was blind and did not eat or drink anything. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Whenever the Lord releases the Holy Spirit to arrest someone, the Holy Spirit was commanded by God to go arrest. There was an angel sent out to arrest our brother Paul. God said, enough is enough. I'm going to lead you back to me. People say, oh, but people got their free will. And guess what? And God got free will too. <laughs> and he said, arrest him to Day. He got his free will to kill my Christians. Oh no, I got free will to arrest him. Arrest him. And the Lord says, I'm arresting your spouse. I'm arresting your spouse. I'm arresting their will. Not taking away their will, but I'm arresting it. I'm arresting it. I'm taking custody of it. I'm restricting their soul. I'm restricting their mind. Oh yeah, God can do it. He can do whatever he wants to do. I'm restricting them and I'm leading them. And we've seen where Jesus was led into the wilderness. That's not a pleasurable place or desirable place that any of us want to go. But he was led into the wilderness for growth, for spiritual growth. Oh, God says, I'm arresting them, arresting them. They're going to go, think they're about to party, arrest it. Go send you a nasty text message, arrest it. Go think they're about to be with their counterfeit, arrest it, arrest it by the Lord. And we've seen our brother Paul thinking, but God says, knock him off that horse. And when he opened his eyes, he couldn't even see. You can open his eyes all you want. You can blind, arrest him by the God, taken into custody by the Holy Spirit. Your spouse isn't going to have wandering eyes looking all over the place, wondering about this, chasing after this. They're not going to long for the things that they used to long for. Their bellies won't be full. Their tongues won't be satisfied. And the things that used to be tasteful to them won't be tasteful anywhere anymore. Why? Because God is defending us. God is fighting for us, pushing back the darkness. We will not be moved. Do you understand? A uh, God, the authority, the spiritual authority that your father has and that you have through him being part of this kingdom. No, 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 no. God says, I'm fighting this because of your obedience, because you sat down Ruth and chose to follow my instruction. And you sat and waited till I made those wedding arrangements until I rest in Boaz's heart, until I did this. And I, you will see the goodness. You don't have to die to see heaven on earth. You We'll see that these stories that's in this Bible are going to come to life in your life. Oh, yes, we will. God says, I'm arresting these spouses. Hashtag arrest my spouse, Lord. If you feel led, if the Lord leads you to song, hashtag arrest my spouse, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Father God, I thank you for this word, Father God. As you're arresting the spirits of your people, the will of your people, the souls, the minds of your people to do the will of God on earth as it is in heaven in this month of June. Have your way, Father God, over this channel, over everyone watching. Have your way, Lord God, over these kingdom marriages. Through the blood of Jesus, we declare and we, that we decree that it is finished. It is done for the kingdom's sake. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Blessings to you, family. God is doing some things. God has arrested some things and people for you. In Jesus' name, I'll see you soon. God bless.